Southern California continues to shake following yesterday's 6.4 magnitude earthquake outside Bakersfield. Today, a number of aftershocks were recorded near the epicenter of the original quake in Ridgequest. But what do all these aftershocks mean for our chances of having an earthquake here in San Diego? News 8's Alicia Summers spoke with a seismologist to see if it has an impact. Well, we have a few local fault lines here in San Diego, including the one right behind me. It's a gorgeous view out there in La Jolla. Right off the coast of La Jolla shores is the fault line called Rose Canyon Fault Line. A local seismologist tells me yesterday's quake didn't relieve any tension on other fault lines, and it doesn't necessarily mean we'll have more earthquakes this summer either. But it is a good reminder that quakes can happen anytime, anywhere in California, and you should be prepared. I think it's really a wake-up call that we should be prepared for earthquakes. Earthquakes cannot be predicted ahead of time, so a seismologist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography says it's important to have a preparedness kit ready, have water on hand, and secure any elevated objects in your house. Being proactive will help keep your family safe in case a big earthquake hits San Diego. Well, we do live in earthquake country, so we know earthquakes are going to occur. She says yesterday's 6.4 quake in Ridgecrest has been followed by many aftershocks, which is expected, including the 5.2 aftershock that hit this morning. When this main shock occurred, boom, we had over a thousand aftershocks since that 6.4 hit. So everything is within lines of what the seismologists are expecting. It's a very robust aftershock sequence. But all these earthquakes up north are not relieving any seismic stress on our local fault lines. The fault will move, and that puts different strain and stress within the region. And then the region's like, oh, it's like somebody pushing you, like, oh, oh, I'm not coming. And so there's going to be that domino effect. She adds, even though it was the largest earthquake to hit California in 20 years, it's not decreasing San Diego's earthquake risk. She also says the 4th of July quake happened on a fault line that scientists did not know about before. It's unmapped and unknown. We have people with boots on the ground going up to see if they can find some kind of surface fracture. Also, the fault line is in a new configuration. It's not shaped like a usual fault line, which is somewhat straight. The odd thing about this is it's not just a nice fault that's nice and linear and straight. It takes a big jog here. And so we have basically two different faults in the region. There's no avoiding eventually big earthquakes, so it's better to be prepared than scared. We'll see how it plays out and what the temporal behavior is. And we can expect aftershocks for the next month or so, which means uh, seismologists like Debbie has more data to study, and that data could help develop early, early warning systems for earthquakes in the future. We'll send it back to you. All right, Alicia, thank you.